good morning students as i hope you must have completed your second lesson last spring and uh, for more detail you can ask your problems queries uh, on my whatsapp number uh, today we are going to study your third chapter deep water dear students third chapter deep water this is very interesting lesson and uh, i would like to tell you some highlighted parts of this lesson this lesson is written by american writer william douglas you can see and some highlighted parts of this lesson this uh, uh, is uh, a piece of uh, an autobiography an autobiographical piece of uh, uh, written by william douglas and this piece has been taken from his book uh, of man and mountains this is written by william douglas and uh, as it is clearly indicated by deep water in this lesson some uh, points have been highlighted here ymca pool uh this is a uh, a uh, swimming club swimming pool uh, run by um, uh, a private club and this is the best place safe place to learn swimming uh, just like there are you know uh, driving schools uh, when we have to learn driving car driving uh, we go to driving school we join driving school just like if we have to learn swimming so we Uh, have to join uh, this these swimming clubs swimming pools so the writer had an ambition had a desire to learn swimming so when he, when he was 10 or 11 years old uh, he decided to learn swimming at ymca pool uh, and you know this uh, there are some words uh, deep and shallow uh, this is a very uh, long uh pool 3 feet deep at shallow end and 9 feet deep at deep end in this uh, lesson the writer describes about his experience of uh, swimming and uh, you know uh, this part has been highlighted here uh, yes you can see last line it has been underlined it reveals how a young boy william douglas nearly drowned in uh, a swimming pool in this essay he talks about his fear of water thereafter how he finally overcome it notice how the autobiographical part of overcome uh, how the autobiographical part of this selection is used to support the discussion of fear so dear students uh there are some difficult words treacherous treacherous means betrayer subdued my pride suppressed my pride flailed at the surface come on the surface fishing for landlocked salmon means go to see go to river for fishing and a misadventure miss happening an accidental event bob to the surface like a cork just like the lid of a bottle cork of a bottle uh so bob to the surface like a cork curtain of life fell means end of life back and forth across the pool it is a swimming style hmm there are many style freestyle swimming style so back and forth across the pool uh, to uh, run to go across to swim across the pool whole pool so as i think you must have cleared its its meaning answers and if you have query then you can ask you can put up your problems later and some highlighted parts 
Yakima River is described here. Yakima River. Yes. In this uh, lesson, yes, Yakima River. Yes, this is highlighted part. Yakima River. This is described. Uh, it flows near Washington, USA. Yakima River, a tributary river of Colombia. And uh, there are some other highlighted points in this lesson. Writers experience about drowning. Uh, what happens one day when he went to a pool, uh, when he wanted to learn swimming, uh, the misadventure happened here. The misadventure happened. He was waiting for somebody. He could not gather courage uh, to learn swimming in that pool alone. So just after some time, a big boy of 18 years came and he picked him up and tossed him into the deep end. Then he started drowning in that pool. Yes, with that he picked me up, tossed me into the deep and I landed in a sitting position, swallowed water and went once to a bottom. I was frightened but uh, yet frightened out of my eyes. Yes, he tried to make a big jump but he failed. And dear students, this was a very bitter experience. This nine feet deep uh, pool, it seemed a very long down, these 90 feet were more like 90. It seemed as 90 feet. Troubles hours, we feel more and more bitter and feel longer. So, this is a very bitter experience He when he drowned in that pool and this accident happened. So, dear student, this is very important question. What misadventure? William Douglas speaks about. This is the same event, hmm? uh, same accident which happened to the writer William Douglas, uh, this misadventure and uh, uh, due to this uh, uh, accident, this chapter has been given a title Deep Water because uh, he drowned in this pool where it was nine feet deep hmm? where he felt a bitter experience. So this is given in this lesson. And uh, some other highlighted points. When he drowned in that uh, pool, his body was paralyzed. I was paralyzed under water. Means his, uh, you know, all parts of body, eh? uh, they didn't work. And he became unconscious. The sheer stark terror seized him. Hmm. And uh, after some time, when he was taken to his house, after a long time, he came to his sense and then he could remind only that accident when the boy came and he threw him at the deep end. After that, he forgot what happened. And uh, in this chapter, uh, the writer talks about uh, his willingness, his desire to learn swimming. Hmm. Even after this big accident, actually he met two accidents. When he was three or four years old, he went to California beach, sea beach with his father. A strong wind came and uh, he again drowned. Uh, he drowned first time in his life at that time. But at the time his father was with him and he was saved. And second accident when he uh, wanted to learn swimming uh, in a YMCA pool and uh, early in the morning he was waiting for somebody uh, and he could not gather any courage to learn swimming alone. Then a big boy of 18 years came and he picked him up and, and tossed him into the deep end. This is the second accident happened to him. Dear students, uh, one important question I, I would like to notice, uh, it is asked in your board exams for many years, why did the writer want to learn swimming even after this misadventure? Yes, this answer has been underlined here. Yes, whenever he means the writer 
went the hunting fear of water followed him it ruined his fishing trips deprived me of the joy of canoeing boating and swimming dear students this chapter has been written in autobiographical way uh, everywhere the writer has used i because the, these are uh, this story is his own experience so when you will be asked a question so in third person i will be changed into he point to be noted down and some other highlighted questions what is the misadventure i have told you its answers what were the series of emotions and fears those 9 feet like 90 feet its answer how did this experience affect him a minute ago i have told you its uh, his body became paralyzed and uh, uh, the fear seized his body all friends enjoyed all water games like fishing canoeing boating swimming but he was uh, it ruined his fishing trips so in this way his uh, uh, life was affected by this accident by this swimming uh, accident misadventure and how did the instructor the coach make him an expert swimmer finally the writer decided to learn swimming one day he took a firm decision and he decided to get a coach and he learned swimming and finally he removed the fear of uh, water and in this way he had conquered his fear of water so these are highlighted questions why was douglas determined to get over his fear of water because all of his friends they are enjoying water games hmm? but uh, this was his ambition unfulfilled that's why he determined how did the instructor build a swimmer out of douglas piece by piece hmm? uh, he taught him one exercise then second exercise then third third exercise uh, at last he asked him to put them together how did douglas make sure that he conquered his fear of water this is very important question as a short answer and as a long answer how did with the help of coach with the help of teacher with the help of instructor he removed the fear he conquered the old terror of water dear students if you have any problem in any subject what do you do you get a coach you go to coaching you go to tuition so uh, the same way the writer got uh, an instructor a coach in this way he removed uh, he practiced for 6 months and removed the fear of water in this way the writer has uh, uh, described his experience uh, uh, what happened to him uh, what difficulties he felt and how did he remove his fear of water question number 2 how did douglas overcome his fear of water this is very important long answer it carries 10 marks in your board exams so you will do this questions in your fear copy as i hope you must have understood uh okay bye bye have a nice